Welcome to lesson number five. In this lesson, we shall talk about blockages caused to us by other people. And why would anyone want to harm us? Some of our blockages are caused by envious people who cast a spell or the evil eye on us. How should we treat them? We can perceive such situation in two levels. At the low, basic level, we understand that we are dealing with a negative and evil character who rises against us, so we should take revenge and destroy him. This is an ego-driven response, which is natural. On the higher, spiritual level, we understand that we are dealing with the creator of the world, and the harmful person who stands in front of us is the embodiment of the Creator in his own right. The Creator shows himself to us through all kinds of physical situations. If someone casts the evil eye on us and inflicted misery on us, it was the Creator who wanted to throw us into the shells for the purpose of our growth. And the energy of the evil eye was dressed on that person who harmed us. However, the evil eye is a situation that we can contain, despite of the difficulty. So we should know that the Creator would not send us his delegate in order to abolish us, but only to make us expand our vessels. The evil eye is an energy that we can avoid, especially if we are in internal balance. It throws us into the shells, but we have to understand that if the Creator throws us there, it must be for our own good. At the same time, we should try to get out of the shells quickly, so that we are not harmed too much. The way to break free from the shells is, first of all, to understand that no person can hurt us of his own will or on his own accord, unless the Creator gives him permission to do so. In our world, there are quite a few negative people who harm others on a daily basis, who carry out their mission and prompt people down to the shells. They are needed in the system of creation. That's how they were created. Do you know such people? The people who come to harm us and cause us blockages are considered in our eyes as evil. But in fact, we have no way of finding out what is the root of their soul or the root of our own soul. We have no way to judge who is righteous and who is wicked. We can see a slumpy, ignorant person who is at a very low level, or a person who seems respectable, educated and elegant, and this can confuse us. The person who seems to us the most stupid can come from a root of a soul that is ten times higher than us and from other souls that we perceive as high souls. We never know who is the person we encounter, what is his rectification or mission. The one who stands before us is the Creator in every embodiment and every form. If we do not notice that there are corrupted elements within us, the Creator will show them to us with the help of other people whom we consider corrupted. It takes one to know one. When we have already fallen into the shells, we should aspire that our decrees will be alleviated with mercy, which is the transformation we must go through. Shifting our consciousness is considered as transformation. Every inner work we do as a result of defeat, 
every connection to the frequencies of sanctity, to the revered sides within us, will help us redeem the soul from the shells. In the next lesson, we shall learn about the first spiritual tool that can help us alleviate decrees, release blockages, and purify negative energies, the 72 names of God. So thank you for being with me, and I will see you in the next lesson.